say we interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin, people worried. You know, this could be serious. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the very gentleman that's sitting on my right hand side clearly has no idea what this genre is about or where it even comes from. But just to make sure that even you that's watching at home knows what this music show is all about, I'm going to hand it over to our sexy voice VOG, better known as Voice of God. Hey, yo, VOG, let's do this. Electronic music began in the 1960s, but was popularized in the late 1970s and early 1980s. The most significant influence to the popularization of this music was the Kraftwerk band from West Germany, who introduced electronica sounds to a wider audience. The band worked with other bands such as Deep Purple, producing new sounds with the Moog synthesizer and vocoders. In the 1970s, this music borrowed structures of already existing pop and rock genres. However, other independent genres of electronica emerged through the 1980s and the 1990s. The late 1990s marked a period of growth of electronic genres into massive styles. Now, before I bore the audience to death, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right to normal programming. Now, as you were saying, Nicholas, yeah, like I don't understand why you listen to electronic music, dude. Synthesizers, vocoders, very new to what? Oh wait, Vinny, are you there? What's going on, my G? Perfect timing. At least now I'll have someone who's gonna be who's gonna like back me up. In my very corner. What's so going on? Are you also yeah. one of those that like electronic music, like this guy here? Uh, not really. Not really. I don't even know how it got to this point. How did it become so popular? Oh, like, guys, peanut butter I'm lost. and jelly, mince with crackers, and just a topping of butter on it. Gentlemen, you are disappointing me, but. Fortunately, this is how it can all be solved. Freeze! Not one, but two gentlemen that have approached me and are in my midst. Now, fortunately for these gentlemen right here, not all hope is lost. Because as being the presenter, there are certain things that I actually tend to forget about. And by the way, most of those things I'm not really obligated to talk about. But because I'm a very sincere and very giving presenter, why not give it back to the audience? So let's bounce back everything to VOG as he talks more about the spread and development of Electronica. Let's get to it. The spread of Electronica music began in the 1970s where it was played in clubs other styles of the music became popular in the 1980s and 1990s with high rankings on their popularity in Germany and in the UK. In the US, electronic music became popular after Madonna's Ray of Light, which was released after the success of Big Beat Sounds by the Chemical Brothers and the Prodigy of the UK.
Yeah, like maybe yeah. electronic music ain't that bad. Thank you. Told you. Nah, Thank electronic you. is whack. I don't. I don't think it's a good. It's a good genre. Ah, uh, I appreciate your honesty. Yeah. No man. No. Yes. Well, I'm gonna put you on to some good music, electronica. Cause some amazing stuff that you can actually see. I don't know. Nah, like put music yeah. video. Yeah, like a music video, some samples. What do you guys think? Wanna go Maybe check it out? If we see it, so. Come on, let's go check it out. Loosen up. It. Look, as long as you, it. as long as you buying drinks, I'm coming. Totally in. Right, let's cool. go. That's fine. Yeah, free stuff. Hey, I never, <laughs> I never thought that most I of these it. things are sold high in electronic and this, electronic and that. Why do people even do all these things? I mean, come on. The most notable thing about Electronica is that it has made it possible for artists to produce songs more cheaply, convenient, and even create orchestras without having to employ a large crew to handle these types of instruments. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Echoes. Welcome.